Today we will be going over the Maneater, which in the community seems to be called Jeff Benjamin II, or Jeff for short. The Maneater has a power level of 2. There can only ever be one on a moon, and it takes 5 hits to kill, and it will kill you instantly in one hit. For its behavior, Jeff starts in a baby phase, and when crying for too long, turns into his adult phase. Things that will make Jeff cry include leaving Jeff alone for too long will result in him wandering away, looking for scrap, and eventually crying if left alone for too long, hitting Jeff, holding Jeff for too long, shaking him too fast or shaking him too long, and taking Jeff outside the facility. Other things that can lead Jeff to turning into his adult form include seeing a dead or critically injured player, hearing a loud noise such as a bell or turret, or observing an object too closely for more than a second. Remember that crying is bad. Every time Jeff cries, then he will slowly reach his adult phase. When he cries too many times or too long, he will turn, and there is no reverting this phase change. When Jeff is cl very close to his adult form, he will throw up as an indicator. <laughs> Jeff will choose a player who he likes. This is indicated by Jeff following that player. If Jeff likes you, then he will be less likely to roam around, get lonely, and cry. When Jeff goes roaming around, he finds scrap, and he has a chance to eat the scrap and delete it. Even worse than a hoarding bug. However, this can only occur after Jeff has seen at least one player. If you shake Jeff too much or hold on to him too long, to stop the crying, you need to drop him. Otherwise, you need to shake Jeff if he starts crying until he stops crying. In the baby phase, Jeff does not take damage. His adult form will roam around the facility looking for players if there are players in the facility. Otherwise, he will sit idle at a randomly decided location in the facility. If Jeff is outside the facility, he will roam similar to other entities. If Jeff spots a player in the adult form, he will do a little wind-up, then scream and charge at the player, often killing them instantly with no escape. If he doesn't kill the player, he will be on a quick cooldown before attempting to attack again. The best way to escape Jeff is breaking line of sight and creating distance. Here are some strategies to never have to deal with Jeff. Your best strategy is just to get rid of Jeff in the baby form, and here are ways to do it on any interior or exterior. Okay, starting with interiors, we're going to start with the facility. The first place you can drop Jeff is by walking on these beams here in the belt room. You can go to the edge of this one, look straight, and drop him off. He will stay down there, and when he turns to his adult form after crying, he can't reach you. This next one is in the apparatus room. You can look slightly up and drop the man eater. Sometimes he will go up top, sometimes he'll just be stuck down below. But from there, he can't get you. You can go ahead and just get rid of him. Wait for him to turn to his adult form. And he's stuck there. So from here, you can just hit him five times. If you want to get rid of him. You can even trap him by making him sad and then waiting for him to turn and drop him through closed security doors. So here, we're making him cry. Now we're going to go up to the security door and wait for him to turn into his adult form. As you can see, once he turns, he's stuck behind the door. On Mansion, the easiest thing to do is find any circular table and just drop him on it. He cannot get off circular tables. From there, you can leave him or just shovel him to death. And one other thing in Mansion you can do is in the main area, if for some reason you can't find a circle table, you can literally just hop on this railing and drop him if you get the right spot. There you go. And once he's on the railing, he can't get off. So you can hit him to death if you want, or just leave him, but he'll just chill here. And lastly, for the mineshaft interior, you can still just drop him down the elevator shaft. This was said to be patched, but it's not. So you can drop him down there. And you can do a similar trick to the facility security doors. If you find a locked door that's a dead end, you can just walk right up to it and wait for the baby to turn. And once Jeff turns into his adult form, he will be stuck behind the door. 
Now I will be going over all the closest spots to get the man eater stuck on the exteriors at any exit for all the moons that the man eater spawns on. So here we're going to start with assurance main entrance. We are going to go out, and you got to be quick with this because he's crying. Anytime you drop, it will drop you out of his hand, so you got to pick him back up. So after you, he, you drop, pick him up, bring him to this left corner, and wait for him to turn to adult, and he'll be stuck. Next one is the assurance fire exit here. Going to do the same thing when we drop down. It's going to drop out of our hands, so we got to pick him back up. Then go to this weird looking rock and drop him. He will fall in the rock and be stuck. For Val main entrance, you're going to exit and run to the right. From here, you'll just hug the side of the dam, drop down here, and once you land here, you're just going to drop him. He'll be stuck in the wall there. For the fire exit on Vow, it's pretty similar. You're just going to exit, but instead you're going to go to this wall right here and just wait for him to turn by putting your hands inside the wall. Then he'll be stuck there. For offense main entrance, you're going to exit, go immediately to the left, pick up the baby when you drop, and then just go ahead and throw him in the rock here. So if we go up the rock a bit, we can just drop him in. If the rock isn't there, you do something similar where you go into that corner and you wait for him to turn, holding him, and then when he turns into his adult form in your hands, he will just be stuck in the wall. The offense fire exit is pretty simple. You're just going to exit right here and just wait for him to turn while looking slightly up into this when he turns he will be stuck on top but he can also get stuck inside of it all the march spots are fairly simple for main entrance you're gonna go out and run to the right and all you're going to do is just jump and drop him into the wall then he's stuck for the fire exit right next to main you're going to exit Right over here to the right of the fire exit. And just drop him through the wall like you did with the main entrance. For the fire exit that is to the left when you exit the ship, you're going to run out and as quick as you can get on top of this hill. And once you're on top, just drop the baby and it will be stuck up here. Won't be able to get out. And for the last March fire exit, the one behind the ship, behind all the mountains, you will just go out and drop him right where you are. He can't get off this ledge. And when he's in the adult form, you can still enter and exit fire exit perfectly fine. Just when exiting, you need to run off as quickly as possible. For adamants, you're just going to exit main, run over here to the left, and wait for the baby to turn. For the adamants fire exit, you're going to run out, you're going to jump off this, and when you drop the baby, pick him back up. And then you're going to go over to this rock here and just drop him. He'll be stuck on the rock. For dying main entrance, you're going to exit, go immediately to the right, and just jump and drop him here. They'll be in the wall. The dying fire exit is using the exact same strategy, but you're going to run out. You're going to go off the ledge here. When you drop, make sure to pick him back up. And then throw him in the wall. Same exact way. And last but not least, for artifice main entrance, you're just going to run to the left. As quick as you can. And you're going to look into the corner here by the fire exit and wait for the baby to turn. Once it turns into its adult form, it'll be stuck in the wall. And the fire exit for Artifice is the exact same strategy. Exit, go to the right, and just look in the corner and wait for it to turn, similar how you did the main. Some other good ways to avoid the man-eater is to just jump on a railing or any sort of higher up surface when it spots you and it won't be able to detect you. So here I'll try and get it to aggro. I jump on the railing and it can't get me. It just loses me. So that is the in-depth guide for the man eater going into its behavior and all the trick spots you can use to just get rid of them. If you like these videos, please make sure to subscribe. It means a lot to me. And 
make sure to check out my Twitch and the Discord. I hope to see you there. Peace.